Welcome to the Big Gill Show. Welcome to Big Gill Show. This is Michael Gill Crash Show. I guess y'all can't tell. But it's raining. It's raining. So, I think I'm going to walk the, um, the stores. You know how the stores got a little you know a thing so you can walk under it goes all the way over there to home depot i did it last week it rained i had actually started my vlog and it won't too bad but then it started raining hard so i jumped up here takes 15 minutes to go all the way down Home Depot and back up here. So I do that five, maybe six times. Get an hour and a half, hour and something. And so yeah, y'all see it. Hey, look at the vape store. <laughs> so I walk under here. Hey, exercise is exercise. Although I like the parking lot. This is good. As long as I get it in. They got a place down here where people come. They get here at 530 and they work out. I know it was that last week when I did this because it was raining. Because, you know, I'm usually out there in the parking lot. I just see a lot of cars coming in. I always thought it was workers. Because people come, like I seen people, they go to Target early, Chick-fil-A. You know, they getting prepped for when they open. But there were so many that came down here. I was like, wow, what's open so early? What's that many people here for i understand you have an early crew to get there set up the building any of them you know office deep i seen them going to pet smart but it's always been three or four people this it's like 45 50 people i'm like man that's a lot of people and i didn't know until i came down here Last week, I finally figured out what it was. That's what they doing. They coming to work out. They're early birds like I am. Except they got a membership to work out in this place. I don't know, it look empty to me. But it's a place to work out because they got um, little things that you can step up, step up on. And, and them balls, you bounce and pick up. So I walked by a couple of times while they was in there because I went through my workout. And they um like aerobics, but I guess it's um this new thing, CrossFit training. Well, I say new, newer than the eighties, because they've been doing CrossFit for a while now. But yeah. So they were bouncing the ball, stepping, doing burbies. Y'all know I just figured out what that meant. <laughs> the heck is a burby? <laughs> uh, I'm using these fitness words on y'all. Gil using fitness words. Burbies and bouncing and jumping and all, all such things. <laughs> Oh, it's getting toward the end of the week, boy. I tell you, I feel it, boy, in the body. Slowing down. Oh, man, I tell you. Here you go, y'all. Burn boot camp. That's what it is. Burn boot camp, and they be deep up in here. Yep. 30 camps are free. 
And then they open at 5.30 Monday through Friday. And this is where I seen them all at over here. See, it's a mat. Hey, look at me. But yeah, they be in there putting it in. Oh, they got some weights over there. I ain't even see that the other day. But yeah, they get here. In about 45 minutes, they start pulling up. They be deep getting it in. And I haven't seen one male. Might be, but look like all females to me so far. Even the people that's working. The lady at the desk. Female. I was like, wow, is it all female club? I mean, I ain't going in there. <laughs> all that jumping and bouncing. I know it's some good exercise, though. But nah, I'm good. So it don't look like a lot of rain on the ground. You know, this is mighty, mighty white looking. Should be more dark gray wet. Excuse me, y'all. I go back up. Guess I'm gonna hit the lot. Cause it's the open space in between the buildings. I mean, it's a little bit. I feel a drop or two, but ain't nothing to run me out. It ain't raining hard. Yeah. Just because this is so boring. I might just take it back to the lot when I get up there. Get back up there. This would be like doing two 15 minutes. So I just jump in the lot and be working on number three. Well, all right, y'all. This was more just like a on the Gill old vlog, just talking about stuff. <laughs> Office Max. <sighs> y'all always see the light. Y'all don't see this stuff. This Gill don't come down here. Pet Smart Home Depot right there. Target over there. I said probably around the first of the year at the peak season. I know me, I'm gonna get tired of that lot. Just going in circles. And I figured I'd just walk all this. One time around, it'll probably be 25 minutes, maybe. You know, connect it all, target. Where is he? Cause I don't even uh, go to the end of Kroger. Oh, I might do that today just to see how long one time around this. Like I said, it ain't raining hard. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that today. See how long one time around is just so I can know. You know, the Marines, this is one of their recruiting offices. Lumber liquidators. Still don't know what the heck that is. I guess it's flooring. It's the people that liquidate lumber. Self-explanatory, yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. Just out in the AM. Didn't go to the gym. After my trip out last night, walking. The alarm woke me up for the first time in a long time. I usually wake up long before that go off. I had to set for 3.40. My nephew had to be to work at 4.20. So, like I said, for like 4.25 when we started, 4.22, something like that. Close to it. Oh, pet smart. Look at all the pets. Doggy, cats, birds. Is that a mouse or a gerbil? I don't know. <laughs> One of them. And, um, so, 
Got out here early. I'm gonna do this lap just to see how long it is. My best friend Steve work at the Home Depot. Home Depot. You know they're trustworthy. They got wood just out and about. I guess, I don't know, maybe some cameras. You better not come mucking with their wood. Their wood. <laughs> Concrete, whatever that is. Stuff they just leave outside. Pull up here if you want to. Messing with their skit. <laughs> oh, probably waiting on you. Grab one of them blocks over there. Police be everywhere. Waiting for you. Huh. All right. I guess that's it. Usually I turn around right here and go back. Well, I did last week. But like I said, I'm going to make it a journey. Walk to the end, walk across, go over there to Target, come up right there by Chick fil A, right back into the whole Kroger parking lot. See how long this takes me. That way I know how long my lap's gonna be. When I'm back in shape, when I'm usually in shape, what I try to do is a minimum of an hour whenever I walk. Now, sometimes I go three. Sometimes I just go a minimum of an hour. That's it. When somebody say, let's just go for a stroll. I say, okay. But hours my limit. I ain't walking for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, hour. Unless I gotta go to work or something. And I wanna get a walk in. And I'm like, well, I can afford 30 minutes. I do it then. But mainly, yeah, I try to get our win. So I want to see how many times I had to walk around here so I don't have to time it. Because I really, truthfully, I don't like counting laps. I always been time. People be like, how long you walk? You know, how many miles you walk a day? I have no clue. Used to. Now I see it on my phone. I just go, I walk out. I walked three hours a day. And then I went back out and walked another hour. So four hours. I don't I don't know how many miles. Well, I done passed a connection to the um, Target parking lot. But yeah. So I'm gonna measure this. And see, and y'all see my stroll. Get on. Ain't no speed walker. Nah. It's just my pace. This was how I walk. This high exercise. My wife be smoking me when we used to walk together. Oh yeah, Stacy be gone. Stacy be about to lap me by now. But I'm that tortoise coming. Nice and steady. She get about 30 minutes in, sitting down on her phone. I be like, eh, I see you in two and a half hours. Got to the point where we start driving to the park in separate cars because she would get mad hey man that's what i do you want to speed walk it's good exercise you might burn more calories they say that hit cardio burns more than regular cardio i believe it does it's just what i do and it works for me hallelujah amen amen all right y'all it's been a long now I'm walking through the Home Depot parking lot on my way to Target. Now who is this coming in here? Why wow, I can't believe I just done that on camera. Excuse me, y'all. Trying to figure out who this is. Don't come mucking with me. Get the heck on somewhere. Somebody probably going to work. I'm giving them the look like, don't fuck with me. And old Scarface look. Don't muck with me. <laughs> Gil, soften up. I was like this. And they rolled right on by, look straight ahead, then they look at me. Ah. The world is crazy these days, y'all. People still just mad shooting people. Ah. Just hate, hate, hate. Wow. When 
And God is about love, love, love. Be careful out here. Myself including. Whew. Don't worry, I'm prayed up. Hallelujah. I got the hedge of protection around me. My rock, my steady, my shield. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Christ Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. <sighs> All right, y'all. I'm in, in the Target parking lot, so I talk to y'all. It's already long. <laughs> Later. What's up, everyone? Out here on the baseball field. Now, I didn't come out here yesterday because I didn't want any wet feet. And it was just wet from past days raining. Didn't even rain yesterday. I'm trying to find a way to go down this hill if I was sliding. Because guess what happened last night? It rained. I'm like, shoot. I didn't get the results I wanted by doing my Walmart workout. So, cause yeah, I went to Walmart instead of coming out here. But, hey man, I want these results. I gotta do what I gotta do. So it rained last night. So just imagine what this field is gonna be like now. <sighs> but I'm out here. I got on my shoes. I might need to find some waterproof socks or something. Just when I come out here. Cause that's the only thing. My feet be so wet and you know how wet stuff get pruned and uh, I'm out here. Glory be to God. Thank you, God, for this workout. God, I pray you bless this workout by the power of Christ Jesus, death, burial, and resurrection. I thank you. I pray. And I love you. Truthfully, right now, don't seem as wet. That's weird. Because it, it was raining this morning when I went walk. Y'all seen it? I don't know if y'all seen the rain. But I was walking in that rain. This grass don't feel as wet as it did the other day. With no rain. I want to pouring down drench rain because I even debated walking in it. And I ended up walking in the parking lot because um, it stopped raining. So I only did that one lap. Well, y'all seen it. When I got off, I was in the parking lot going to target because it stopped raining so never started back up probably should have put my hoodie it's a little it's like 55 wind ain't blowing though so i'm like i'm good and plus once i get going i will warm up so i'll be all right in here getting it in y'all whoo Look, man, it's hard, but it's fair, especially toward the end of the week. It's tough, boy. You just want to rest, and your body is calling for it, and it's going to get it. I just got to get this one in. Tomorrow, I'm back to work, vacation over. Excuse me, y'all. So, I'm back to work tomorrow. So the body get rest cause I be working. <laughs> Can't be out here exercising at the gym, trying to find somewhere else to walk, something to do. No squats, knee lifts, all. I just be thinking of things to do. Watching TV, a commercial come on, I jump up, do some squats, some knee raises, work this core, you know? Hold on. All right, here we go. This the soggiest part. So let me see. 
Huh. Okay. Maybe it didn't rain over here. You know how I do. I was about a mile and a half away from here, which isn't far. But still, this doesn't feel as bad. It's wet, but the other day I was walking and squash, 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 just at this part. And now it's nothing but grass. I hear nothing but grass. No squash, 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 squash. But well, my feet will probably still be wet. But it ain't gonna be as bad. So, glory be to God. It's gonna be all right. I didn't even wanna come out here. But I want these results. When I leave this place, see, like I dropped more during about 45 minutes here. I dropped two. Then I go to the gym for an hour, straight out to the parking lot for an hour and a half. That's two hours and a half of straight exercising. And I drop a pound, maybe. It might be more, cause I'm pretty sure. I don't weigh myself after I eat. So the eating weight is on there. So, all right, yeah, cause it is. I'm probably dropping three or four. Okay. Sorry. Scale. <laughs> I'm dropping three or four. But then I come out here. This is bonus. Give me an extra two. Excuse me. I noticed last week I wasn't doing that. And I had a tickle in my throat. So I was mad. I was like, no, something trying to grab a hold of me. That's why I exercise to get rid of it. But I started noticing. I said, man, I ain't had to say excuse me in my vlogs. But, and I said, cause that tickle in my throat, it ain't wanna let me go. Now it's going away. Cold coming out of me again. Ah, boy, the body, it's amazing. It's amazing. All right. Can y'all see that? See the smoke? Got with that burning leaves, I'm guessing. When I first pulled up, I was like, what's all this smoke? Well, it's that time of year down here in the country. They might do it up north, I don't know. They burn leaves. Instead of putting them in bags and putting them to the curb, some people burn them. Might not be a bad idea. I might need to go get me a barrel. I got a bunch of leaves in my yard. But the trees still got leaves on them, so I'm trying to wait. My wife getting tired. Wanna talk about something. I pay somebody to rig it. I said, I don't care. That's your money. It's less I gotta do. But ain't no need to do it. Tell the leaves fall. She know that. Listen, we've been there six years now. She know that. Hold on. We made that mistake before. I raked that whole yard. The next week it won't it won't as bad. But it was covered again. Cause we didn't wait. Our neighbors are waiting. Our neighbors. They manicure their lawn. And they got leaves on. That's how I get her to calm down. I said, look at the neighbors. She know how they take care of their lawn. And there's leaves everywhere and they're waiting. That's how I got her to calm down yesterday. Because I had planned on my vacation to break the yard. But it's too many leaves still on the tree. But yeah. <sighs> Man burning his leaves. <laughs> you can tell by the smell. Excuse me, y'all. All right. I guess that's enough. We out here again. Still going to get it. <sighs> Want for that baby shower hood hiccup. I be in the single digits right now. I put on eight pounds over them two days. Went from 623 to 631. So really, I did my thing this week. 
because I came from 631, which I told you them pounds came off easy. <laughs> them eight pounds came off the first day, day and a half maybe. I was back down to 623. So I was 616 yesterday. So that's 15 pounds this week. And I still got today, tomorrow. And I might count Sunday, I don't know. But we'll see. It's been a good week. Wish I wouldn't have put on them eight. But compared to the old days, last year, putting on eight over a weekend, that's usually a blessing. But like I said, I was dropping more. This year, it's coming off. I'm not even going to speak. It's just going to come off. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That's it. We ain't speaking on negativity. It's coming off. It's been a good week. 15 down and counting for this week. <sighs> no hiccups on Saturday. Although I did buy me a bag of chips in Walmart yesterday. Y'all, I love the jalapeno um, hard chips. You know, the kettle chips, they cook them hard. And Walmart got their own brand. I had to test it. And I got them in the house and I said they for Saturday when I go to work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm being honest. I'm eating them chips. <laughs> uh, I want to get my week over with. Lord willing, we ain't, we ain't putting on no eight this weekend. Over the weekend, if I put on, let it be eating weight. You know, usually after I eat, I put on three and four. Plus, I'm going to work out Saturday. I don't know about Sunday. After working, 11. Then going straight in the UPS for at least six or seven hours. 18. I usually come home and go to sleep on Sunday. So we'll see. I'm going to work out Saturday. Excuse me, y'all. So we'll see. Yeah. Oh, I forgot my gum. I'm sitting here like, why my mouth so dry? Forgot my gum. That's all right. I'm done one and a half. I'm talking to y'all. I'm laughing. I need to get off. This vlog gonna be 40 minutes. I put one up that was almost an hour the other day. So it is what it is. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> all right. So, like I say, 15 and counting. Let's go, go, Gadget, get them. <laughs> All right, y'all. Welcome to the Big Gill Show. Welcome to Big Gill Show. This is Michael Gilchrist Show. Holla back at the Big Gill Show.